Welcome one and all to Cap Club Bar with today's edition of the Cap Club Podcast. I'm Digital Bacon. Join me behind the bar as he does each and every week. It's Chewbracker back and... Hello, hello. Bunny, like... Yeah. Are you, are you ever hello. setting up a new pool table, dude? That's pretty dope. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks Where pretty... Uh, I think the bar yeah, is new. Yeah. Where did you get yeah. a pool table from? It's connections. Don't ask. Connections? Mafia? <laughs> connections? <laughs> Whoa, chill, chill, chill. Yes. Oh, I'm just asking. Uh, Lorenzo <laughs> Domotelli, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is, it is. <laughs> Bunny, it's... the international man of oh, mystery oh. and his mysterious connections to get pool tables. I absolutely oh. love it and adore it. That's pretty market. <laughs> How are we doing this week, boys? Chill, let's start with you. How have you been doing this week, my dude? I've been doing pretty well, to be honest, dude. It's been a pretty slow week. Well, in my life at least, so uh, it's been, been nice, nice and chill, but uh, gaming-wise, there's been a few few announcements that are worth mm-hmm. talking about, I'd say. And today, of course, once again, F1, dude. Had to watch it, of course. Kind of, kind of disappointed, but no, it's still a good race. Oh, I, I mean, I, I don't mind spoilers about that at the end, because, uh, of course, when we put this podcast out, the F1's already been done for a week, so mm-hmm. anyone that's interested has already... Uh, you well, know, watched it known. or listened or reviewed it, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, super close, but uh, just Mercedes can't be beat, can they? Like, it's just continuously. Well, we still have 19 races left, right? So we'll, we'll see mm, what true. happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Hopefully Perez steps it up a little bit and he can actually fight along. That would be nice. Mm. I, but still, it's a good yeah. race. Well, it, was still, it was still a good race between the, the, yeah. those two. So For Spain, anyway, it was a very good race, I thought. Because Spain's normally a little bit of a uh, poopy one, ain't it? You know, it's a bit boring. Yeah, pretty boring, usually. Mm. They I was hoping uh, for some rain. Cane. That's that's my biggest issue. It just sort of ruins flow of everything. I'm pretty sure it's new, so I adapt it. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Bunny, what you been up to this week, um, my dude? Uh, uh, nothing. Just, um, yeah, school. What else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing. Ooh. That's it. Gaming? Uh, no gaming this week? Nothing. Well, wouldn't really say any gaming. Nah. Okay. Was uh, was cool, but it working mm. out. Gaming. Oh, that was good. I did, I, I, I did Minecraft. It was Ooh. great. What were you doing yeah, in Minecraft? So that, that's what it. were you building? Well, my house. Like yeah, a replica house. of your house, or just a? House no, 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 no. It's just a, a house in general. It, yeah, <laughs> I can't really give you a lot. It's, it isn't that uh, exciting. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, uh, can't make it any better. Spruce? Spruce? I, I find, like, no, when no, it comes no. to games like Minecraft, no? I do go and build my own house. It sounds a little bit boring, but you love recreating that stuff. Like, The Sims, I know, notor- like, I did that so often, it was crazy. Just, like, remake your own house is so cool in games, you know? I, th- I think you just lack any uh, creativity. <laughs> I am. Um, I mean, <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I'm never well, making my own house. You also don't let me like to have games or building games in general, as you, you, you mostly said no. in the podcast. So it, it doesn't seem like you are the creative type. You more like to fit for stuff like racing, so, dude. Weirdly, off the back of that, I think it's still free at the moment. It might have been last week, but Pine is going free on the Epic Game Store. Uh, it'll be last week, definitely, like, not available when we put this podcast out, unfortunately. Um, but I've been quite enjoying it. This was one which uh, was, like, weirdly announced. I think it was on a Nintendo, like, Direct, like, two years back. And as... just on the Switch. I'm what, honest, dude. I have it on the Switch, dude, and it doesn't run well at all. It's a really bad game on the Switch, so... Mm. If you like me, but on the Switch, dude... Yeah, so. like again, it was free on Epic, so you, yeah. you give those a try. And yeah, of I am super enjoying it. It's an indie game through and through, and like when they were advertising it, it was meant to, like they sort of were playing on the whole Breath of the Wild thing, weren't they? Like trying to make it look yeah. like the next Breath of the Wild. It's not. It's its own little thing. But I'm really enjoying it. I'm wondering if it's because of like the different, because it's got very Minecraft and open world themes to it, and I'm there trying to figure out in the moment. Why is it I do not like building games that are, like, open world, but I love, like, stuff like that and Breath of the Wild? So it's got to be something about the building mechanic which doesn't connect with me. Yeah, the creativity, like I just said, you, 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 you have no creativity in, in, in your body. There's nothing. It kind of makes sense, dude. It's just empty. <laughs> You're putting it out there for yourself already. <laughs> oh, okay. Just going to get bullied and dunked on like this. But, no, it's I not mean, bullying. I mean, I mean, it's just spitting <laughs> straight facts. Yeah. It sounds like a reasonable uh, argument and why he wouldn't like building games and such. I think Plus, it's more yeah, resource gathering which annoys me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Uh, let's let's uh, the creativity I'm not good at, like building my own things, like especially like chew playing with you in Minecraft is really like demoralizing. Where you're like, Oh yeah, I've just built my house and then you pull off like this castle and it's like how? <laughs> well, I did uh, waste a lot of my youth in that game to be honest. So. Mm. Oh, it, <laughs> you it's get, a time you and experience tricks. thing. Yeah. True. Um <laughs> But keeping on the topic of Nintendo, we've just had uh, and creativity. creativity, of course. Yeah, they just uh, put out that game builder garage or garage. If you're uh, wherever in the world, people, mm -hmm. you know, it's a tomato tomato thing. And I was looking at that, and it's not explained incredibly well in in English. Anyway, you can get a lot of translations off the Japanese uh, post and everything right. for it. But this to me was super cool and. A little bit like a simpler dreams that came out on the uh, PS4. Did you guys ever like see dreams or have you seen yeah, this? I've seen the full Avatar uh, game. I've played it, uh, again. Ooh, I played it actually. So oh. I do know that some that's some cool games from dreams. So mm. uh, I expect some cool, some cool ones on this as well. Hopefully. That's it. And it dreams for me was really quite cool because you can just do like anything with. Don't get me wrong. It depends on other people. Uh, mm -hmm. But it, it's the Mario Maker vibe if you just have endless possibilities, which is super cool. But Nintendo here have got more educational, if that makes sense, like a labo yeah. approach to it. And I, whilst it's great, well, and you know, I wish I had this sort of stuff as a kid. I find it mm -hmm. weird that Nintendo's because Nint labo didn't sell well, or at least they didn't go gangbusters like they're expecting, like the next AAA thing, and. They seem weirdly doubling down on this educational sort of gaming entertainment stuff. Well, because stuff like um, the, the fitness game did, did go really well. Mm. It was like something you do at home. So, and, and like if you look at Mario Kart Home Tour, also did pretty well, I'm pretty sure. So, like they're just testing things out. And the reason why I probably uh, talked about uh, it looking like Labo is because it's an actual Labo extension. Because Labo also had this. Uh, this game mode, but they just extend on it, so it's mm. a lot better than it used to be in that game. So that's also why it's still educational, because they're just building upon what they had. I think and now it... people are loving it. So, say if you don't agree with me, of course, boys. But I think it's more Nintendo doing like a lifestyle thing. So can you remember they would uh, they back during some Pokemon Direct or whatever they talked about? Uh, was it Pokemon Smile? where it was meant to be for kids to brush their teeth to and all of that. And yeah. Nintendo's doing this, like with the fitness games, like Wii Fit, which, um, you know, absolutely sold gangbusters with the balance board and that. And now good you've game. got Ring Fit, of course, which, again, is another good game. They're all great. And mm -hmm. Ring Fit, for me, is, like, that's actually quite a decent workout if you're doing the right stuff. It can be, like, easily cheated and all of that because, you know, it's not... An intelligent system that's measuring you it all comes down to the person um yeah. <laughs> of but, course but like, like if it's cheating, cheating yourself so is it even worth yeah. it yeah I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm there i'm, I'm trying mean, to like more kid? point out like yeah. form in exercise is a big thing if you're not doing the right form you're not getting that 100 percent result you know um mm -hmm. and you've got nothing really to no one there to point out that you're doing something wrong because you're just following the demonstration on screen aren't you so Oh. That can be a bit of well, an issue. I do remember the the Wii uh, the Wii game uh, like the pad they used to use on the, the, those games. I'm pretty sure they did tell you when you did something wrong. I don't, don't know about yeah, the Wii because I don't that was have it. Very accurate. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah, yeah. that one also like new when it was like a different person on there because you could just tell from, like the weight and stuff. So mm. I, I would say it was pretty clever. Huh? And like I said, I don't know about uh, Ring Fit because I never played it. I, I think I think it's tied up to you if that's intelligent. But mm. I do remember that one being pretty smart and how it worked. Uh, I think Ring Fit uh, decides if you're doing something right or wrong by um, the positioning of the uh, Joy-Cons because they know their direction and all of that because they've got the gyro sensors inside. So they can work out, okay, if you're doing this, you should be following this motion because they would have had someone yeah. track it beforehand. And then they just base it upon that. It's got no weight tracking or anything like that. Um, it's got a little yeah, heart rate to sensor do. in it, which is quite <laughs> cool using the infrared beam thing at the bottom. Like, the All amount right. that Nintendo can do with that is super cool. Have you seen that uh, you can turn it into a night, like, uh, vision little sensor through the infrared light on the bottom? No. no is that... Uh, definitely is, not. You can connect the Joy-Cons up Bluetooth to your phone and do stuff like that. It's really cool. 
Okay. Who knows? Next, next console, perhaps. <laughs> next console, perhaps. <laughs> it's going to be a, an, a phone. Phone upgrade. Well, surely, like, the Joy-Cons could work as a really good, like, uh, travel Mind control controls? for your phone. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah for, <laughs> sh for sure. I mean, you can, I mean, easy fit two, <laughs> you can easy fit four in your pocket if you really want to. Mm. Army, I write this down. Spy <laughs> switches. Write this down, dude. <laughs> yeah, I dude, saw dude, last the week that there was a big craze about how to turn the Joy-Con controller into, like, uh, a controller for your camera on your phone because you know like a lot of um, for, like selfie takers and vloggers and that to actually have a controller for your phone instead of just set it up and then you know use a uh, selfie stick to grab it about but rather do it 3D really to be super like useful definitely I mean uh, isn't the switch like almost like a kind of a more powerful uh, phone pretty much Right. Yeah, it runs off uh, a. Um, or yeah, it runs off sort of like a branch of Android, uh, because Android runs off Linux, and it's like sort of using the basis and then locked in to their own little ecosystem. Hence, why you know when switches first came out, within like two weeks, they were jailbroken and so quickly like worked around that you could get so many people doing homebrew, and Nintendo mm -hmm. rightfully <laughs> locked that down instantly, didn't they? Yeah, well, obviously. I mean, you don't want people messing with your. Uh console i appreciate as i saw when the xbox came out some people vaped into the xbox uh, x and then they acted like there was actually smoke coming out of it but then <laughs> like like they made a video and they said well if you vape into it it, it will be smoke coming out of it but don't, don't vape in your console because it will break it <laughs> obviously people just trying to make them look bad for some reason like just childish behavior it makes people uh, company look bad clout. yeah <laughs> yeah the home rule on the oh, switch was kind of cool though because you had a lot of customization on it people like went nuts with it Completely yeah. made a switch their own. That's uh, something they probably still should add, but hey, man. Yeah, I mean, if you look back to 3DS, the 3DS has so much customization to it, it's crazy. Then the mm. switch is nothing. I mean, it just seems that like they really are trying to make it less childish so they remove all those features, even though I don't really think that's a childish feature to customize your switch to what you want, you know? Well, you know, the one thing that annoys me is themes. Why do we not have themes for the switch yet? You can go in and set between two themes, which is like the light white theme and then dark, which is the black background, and that's it in the themes folder. How uh, they not just a light mode and dark mode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. So it's not even a theme. Dark mode represent, baby. Exactly. Yeah, but let's go. How hard could it be? Because I know personally, oh. I would love to have like an Animal Crossing background in that, something cute and adorable, because that's the way I like my wallpapers and backgrounds to be. And I'm sure there's so no, many but... other people out there that would love the same things. Kids would go clamors for like a uh fortnite background or something for their switch oh, no, don't, oh, say it, don't, say chillax, don't say it chillax. don't say it don't say it don't say it i'm just saying they can make a fair bit of money by doing that sort of thing you know you put wallpaper money? out there for uh, a, a okay quid. No, we're gonna no, do that again far. same thing no, with the 3ds no, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, Gone. If, if you do the 3ds they, they should make it with the game as well like when you buy a game online you get a theme for it as well but it, mm. the 3ds boom fix it dude and then you can also get people to buy it online as well. well, that's what? another thing as well, because I can remember for the Wii U and the 3DS, the My Nintendo Portal online, mm -hmm. which you could, you know, when you redeem, when you buy a game, you can redeem coins for it, and it's like fan rewards all of that. That yeah. has gone so unused, not underused, <laughs> just plain up unused at this point. I think the last thing I can remember that you could get off it, which was of any use, wasn't something for the Switch, but was Animal Crossing tote bag. So just like a carrying bag, like the ones you get from uh, shops, the reusable bags. It was just one of those with the Do Air Do Airline Dodo uh, logo on it. And you just had to pay for okay. postage. But that's so yeah. weird, like that they're not doing the wallpapers for the Switch for it or doing... You, you could buy literal games like the first, the original Mario Bros, which they sell in the store for, what, three quid or whatever. But you could just get it free by redeeming so many points from buying 10 games or whatever. And it just seems like, why have Nintendo just stopped doing that? Well, the only reason I can think of it is because they probably think, uh, because the whole you flopped, the you know, think is mm -hmm. not worth it. I don't know. Because clearly they're trying to get away from the whole childish uh, theme that they had going on with the Wii U. And maybe they think it's also like a childish way to customize your Switch, but people like, oh, I was like clean, either white or black background. Mm. Uh, that's, that's the only reason I could think of, and I'm not thinking it's a valid reason, but you know, that will be my guess as to why. 
Because I don't know. Customization to me isn't childish. It's just personalization oh, so, yeah. of what you want. So I, N- Nintendo do things their own way, don't they? And that, that's been known for ages. Heck, why we started the whole topic with the, the game building. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> Nintendo's that sort of case of people will go, oh, we want this. And Nintendo's there going, no, you don't want that. You're having this because this is what we think you want. And it's such a weird way to go about doing a business. It, it works sometimes, but doesn't yep. others. Like, when you look at the Switch going... like It's an incredible creation as such. But no one was asking for a, a home console that you could take on the go. Because everyone thought phones were going to just be that thing, right? I mean, it, it seems like you either have like, yes. a home console or you have a portable. Like a DS or whatever. Yeah. It's like a, maybe something portable. Then you spend extra money, you know what? I'm gonna do the same time. Save yourself some time and just have one console that can do both. <laughs> because the whole uh, 3DS and Wii U uh, arrows also have, I think, consoles in the fingers, because they have to do double work pretty much for two different consoles and keep them both alive. Best this, both uh, worlds. Together. Yeah, dude. I mean, it worked clearly. So I think 84 point something mil sales are now, right? And they're mm. even for 25 this year, so. Yeah, they, they're going to go stunts. over 100 uh, mil this year, definitely. Like, no one can see that not happening, right? And I guess, because there was one weird thing I saw this earlier, um, was that noticing that Sony are trying to copy Nintendos in so many different ways. Like, how Sony have gone exclusive po- focused. Like, they don't push third-party games that much anymore. You know, they'll still pay for... Call of Duty or whatever to get some exclusivities and that that's the same across the board generally you just get exclusives to certain consoles like if you just take Fortnite for example because biggest game still at the moment you if you have it on PS4 or PS5 you'll get some certain items you have it on Xbox you'll get this this and that the same for Switch and that's just more about trying to have it on multiple different platforms it's a free game so you can install it everywhere and it just means that you're playing the game more and such but Sony way back on the ps3 was all about you know getting assassin's creed and that on there now they're last of us they're uncharted they're trying to create these brands akin to mario and zelda but for adult audiences they're always aimed at you know teenagers and up but now they're very heavily focusing on creating those ips themselves aren't they which is strange in a way to copy nintendo because nintendo have been incredibly long term like they they mm-hmm. seem to have such lasting power i mean there's no, no surprise that sony is trying to copy uh nintendo what they did before with project psp it's it like a reaction to the ds and stuff hmm. and of course uh there's very of smash bros which is pretty bad uh, was it called all stars <laughs> Pitched all stars yeah. whatever yeah i feel like you're right. uh, yeah and, and like of course xbox and Nintendo do the same thing like they copy whatever is hype like it is me if this whole uh, game is kind of like an answer to dreams or dream, whatever it's called, Yippee. you know. So, but, I mean, it's, it's cool. Like, uh, you need competition to improve, right? So, if you're mm-hmm. just there by yourself, just like about last time with uh, Disney, then it's only going to be, I think, more worrisome than when you have actually competition to die be the best. Yeah, it's just Nintendo being, you know, doing the know you. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it works sometimes. So we'll see if it works this time. True. Apparently, there already is like 86 different uh, tools you can use, so it sounds like a lot. Uh, maybe there's going to be more, we'll see. Hmm. We'll see when they announce more. Probably E3, I assume. You'd think so, because they are confirmed for E3. I'm trying to think off the top of my head who isn't confirmed for E3, and I think it's just Microsoft out the lot. Like Microsoft it's Sony's E3 the... as well. What, sorry? Sony back. I Sony think back Sony's E3. back on the oh, list. Oh, wow. like, They've done, and then they're doing publishers as well, like Konami. Uh, I don't think Capcom are there, but it, it's E three's going that way where they're just doing because again, it's another virtual one where they're yeah. going for more yeah, pub- uh, like the actual <laughs> publisher based. And I'd, imen- I'd imagine Nintendo then will just focus on Nintendo things rather mm-hmm. than going for those third parties, unless there's a tie-in like say Monster Hunter, which is Capcom, I think, right? Yeah, and yeah. But they're very heavily tied to the Switch now with Rise. Yeah, although the, the, the Rise is confirmed to be released on uh, PC as well, uh, mm-hmm. end of this year. So, no uh, PlayStation, because it's still exclusive to the Switch. 
-hmm. Pretty sure, like, uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, world was also exclusive to PlayStation. So, <laughs> what happens? I saw Monster Hunter stories too, as well, advertised mm -hmm. on Steam the other day. So, yeah. Oh, as well. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. so, I, I'm actually up for stories too, man. Hide moment. <laughs> it looks cool. So, I'm a, well, I'm a big on Monster Hunter fan now. <laughs> That's the first game. Have you finished Monster Hunter now? Because they just released the, like, free update as such which finished the game didn't they oh um just uh, like t tell me what you think is finished then like what do you consider finished the main story being finished because uh, i swear it no. didn't release with a final boss or whatever well it, it does a final boss but the, the story doesn't end there yet like it's still gonna go mm. and no i'm not there yet because i, I was focusing on doing single player first all of it but apparently you also need to do multiplayer to progress in the story so there you go. I'm now, I think, level six, level, level six star level. So, there's only one more level left. There you go. The big, big boss fight. The big boys. That's quite unique of how to do it. Yeah. I mean, um, most of it's such a grind, dude. Like, like you, you're in a game. I think I'm 32 hours now. I'm in the game 50 hours and I still got tutorials and how to do stuff. <laughs> like, it's still going with tutorials and what are you supposed to do this and that and whatever. And the map in this is a good game because you're gonna spend a lot of time in there. Are you trying to figure uh, out what you need to do? Yeah, to? yeah. I'm a, oh, I, I think I know what it is actually. This think, plant, right? Oh, yeah, it's, plant, it, it's uh, got a plant one. over towards the right. I this think one. it's the one behind the red. No, the no, one. This left. one. You trust me. This one. This one. Trust you think me. is that one? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Castle. Boom. Big brain gamer. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, man. Dude, dude, this was this was my favorite game when I was a child, dude. Mm. Right, sunshine. Good vibes. Good summer vibes, even in the winter times. I these levels though. Oh man, they were really wonky. <laughs> they they are. These are wonky, but the rest of the game is a complete joy. But yeah, it's incredible how well this holds up. And I guess again, that goes to Nintendo's like thought path of just how they make a game to last. At the moment, I'm playing um, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, which is a Game Boy Advance game. But I'm doing mm -hmm. randomizers for it, so changing where all the items are in the world, so that you do everything out of order, because it's almost like a open world game in some regards. Yeah. But I just think it's absolutely crazy how you can have games which, like, this is now... I want to say this game came out in 2000? It was on the GameCube. 2002? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So, what's that? 19 years old this year. That's crazy. Yeah, it's and a crazy good game, dude. Yeah. It, and it still looks so good because by the GameCube, they've figured out 3D, right? Not perfected mm -hmm. it at all, but like I mean, comparing water, that There's to Mario 64, like this is night and day different. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, especially the water on the, just the GameCube looked amazing. Pretty much every game they made on the GameCube. Dude, it's Wait, almost like Sea of Thieves oh. worthy, dude. Sea of Thieves worthy. Sea of Thieves worthy, whoa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude. Come on, dude. The water in this game would be B2002? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I wonder if that's why they called it Project Dolphin and they were going for water, like, straight off the bat. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> like, it's, it's like maybe that name. was just, like, the benchmark where they were like, okay, what we want to do is make water look good. Like, make realistic Word. water. Like, that's <laughs> the target. So they put everything around it. <laughs> it worked, and I'm happy, dude. Pushing, uh, pushing the limits. Not to see it. Oh, also, God. dude, uh, whilst it's still on the topic of creativity, speaking of another form of creativity, of course, the the new Mii game, dude. Mmm, Miitopia, yeah. Yeah, dude, and apparently it has the best cat creation ever made in any game. That's insane, dude. <laughs> Mii's are the best character creation in any game. I mean, yeah, Mii's are, what, game. 15 years old in that, this year? Uh, I think so, it's 2006, yeah. right? When yeah, 2006 for the Wii. So yeah, that makes 15 years. I it it released like holidays, you know, like October, November, December. So sometime around that it'd be 15 years. But as of right now, 14 and a half. Say, but I saw what they've done with that, and it's incredible how you can sort of like animate or like create the shapes for your Mii's now instead of just using the plain templates that Nintendo have. Like here, you can make different hairs and all of that. They, they might not be animated like the proper ones, but they're a 2D face pl uh, play, aren't they? Like making a mask. I mean, I, I, I looked at a few videos and you can literally make anyone you want in there <laughs> if you really want to. Like, it's oh, just crazy. Because Mii's are a weird thing. Because you, 
you still have Miis on the Switch, but they're in like a sub menu, aren't they? They're not like a main thing. Like on the Wii, you had the Mi channel, which was great. You even had that on the Wii U, didn't you? But for some reason, they got rid of it on the Switch, and I, I never really understood why. I mean, the only reason the Miis are here now is because uh, like your account to show which account you, you are mm. talking to, pretty much. That's like the only reason. And and I saw like, like Mario, uh, Mario Maker, of course. Where you can show your me when you play against random people. They don't even call them me's in that, do they? They call them. Uh, I don't know. I, I something. think they do. No, because you've got to make it separate to your me. You can't just load in your me. Oh. On Mario Maker, anyway. That's, that's a fun fact for the, for the viewers and for me, <laughs> apparently, because I didn't know that. <laughs> and, I, and I'm the Nintendo guy, dude. What the heck? You probably just skip through that because, like, it was the first time you built up the game. You just got to quickly do that, and you don't have much customization. It's just again the me creator, but they look slightly nicer than me's. Like they look more human rather than cartoony, if that makes sense, don't they? On Mario Maker, uh, like their well, proportions. I did, I did use Bob Ross, so. But actually, <laughs> no, I did. I've got Bob Ross, so I, I'm pretty sure I didn't make it myself. Hmm. And... Maybe it it's really just ideas. like there's an adjuster or something with it like at Perhaps. the start for the first time. Perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> it's, silly. it's insane. The Mies. I mean, to, to, in my opinion, the Mies are always like funny to, to see because you, like, you, you're able to make a lot of things from it. Like the Queen of England, Peter Griffin. And it's always just funny to, especially, yeah, especially in the Wii because there's like this whole channel where you can download other people's creation. It's just funny to download all those weird Mies and then play uh, like Wii Party. Just to, to play with those random mies. Yeah, I do to say the new game, I was very surprised when I saw an Among Us character. I'm very happy that that is now a possible, you know, thing I can get on Among my us? Wii. I saw an Among Us character, yes. I saw the Red Sus, so I was like, oh, okay, So you can okay. download each other's, uh, I'm going to say, a la what they did with Animal Crossing. You just get, like, a create your ID, right? And uh, go I in. don't have a single clue. I just saw Red Sus. I was like, okay, this is now a thing. See? <laughs> Hype. I still love Among Us. It, it's not something that you can play once a week like we used to back in the day, but it's nice to have in the library, you know, to pull out every uh, few months. Uh, yeah, I'm kind yeah, of sure. done with the whole guess, genre, uh, personally. I'd rather play Project Winter if we're yeah, going to play yeah. a game like that again. Same. I mean, but I'm, I'm saying like, I treat it like, like Jackbox Party Pack and all of that, you know? Yeah, party game. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Project Winter is more hardcore, but also like a lot of meme meme stuff. Mm. But the problem with Winter is it's not as a meme game, but then when you get serious, it's actually kind of hard to play. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you take it serious. And of course, uh, the first few times you lose every time as a survivor because you don't know what to do as oh, a survivor. Yeah. Like the first 10 times you play, is how it is. I remember playing with you guys for the first time being like, what, what? And getting completely yep. played by you, Chew. I think you like poisoned me or some stuff, and it was like, what? No, <laughs> the problem is that that you figured me out because you used a little potion on me that syrup that told everyone I was the killer. Oh, yeah. And the problem with that game was I was the killer 80% of all of the time. So almost every match you played, I was the killer, dude. And it takes a toll on your body when you need to kill this often because you have to lie. Plus, the match are like an hour long, I think, uh, max. Maybe maybe a little bit shorter, maybe 40 minutes. Mm. But they're long matches, and then to lie the whole time. Like, if you do it every time that that session, it just makes you tired. And same with Among Us. I like like, normal mm, I think that's uh, why it, Among Us a is a thing. little bit better, though, is because it's not no, as because long and grueling. I think Among Us, a lot of people also just... Uh, if, if you're the imposter multiple times, then it's just going to be... It's going to take a toll on your body, pretty much. Because you have to keep lying and everything you say is to make sense. And I've seen a lot of people actually... Uh, well, I wouldn't say, like, it's bad for the health, but you can tell that they're getting tired. Mm. It, it's mentally it. straining. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, pretty much. For sure. But that's why I was saying, Among Us being more casual with shorter games, you know, there's somewhere between, like, around about five to ten minutes. Ten being, like, mm -hmm. an extremely long one. Five being, I would say, relatively average. That's oh, not... I think it's a bit longer. I think it's a bit longer, actually. A bit longer? Like, yeah. like, like if you have a full ten lobby, I think... Actually, I think yeah, I'm trying to think, because what? A meeting is normally about a minute and a half, so yeah, yeah probably ten minutes is average, yeah. Uh, I would have said maybe like 15 minutes for a match. Oh, when, when did you save him? Help the boy. My yeah. mans, my mans. Come here, man! Does he not give you a blue coin, is it? Wow, dude, blue coins. Oh, he's also going out. Well, you need one, one more and then you can go get a yes. shot. Mm, I don't think I will. 
<gasps> I just realized Speaking that A was, uh, I'm pretty sure, a white A, weren't it? In the main game, it went red. They changed the know, color dude. a little bit. <laughs> Maybe do some Sorry, research. Weird little things. Like, I can't remember it being that Here color. Here we go again, dude. I'm research and drop in the Nintendo lore. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we it is all good. confirm it that old. it's true, though. I'm well, sorry. Well we, well, we can research it, of course. But well, we, we could, cares. of course, but... Who cares, dude? Yeah. You know, to be honest, yeah. I don't, so... It's only a color. It's from, from, that's from Y2 Red, dude. Who cares? Come on. Well, it's just interesting to see how they, you know, change things up for the port, because it, it's a port, but then at the same time, they actually went in and did stuff to it. Which... Wiggler! Oh, so big. Dude. Look at the boy. In this game, like in this 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 era of uh, Wiggler, he doesn't look nice at all, dude. No. He looks he looks way better on a new version. The head um, is N64. really weird. It's like a baby head. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know but what I mean? Wiggler... Like, he looks like a little chubby baby. It's he unsettling. Is He's better, dude. <laughs> He's better. I mean, one thing as well that I find personally upsetting, too, but I know you guys absolutely adore. Is uh, yeah, was... Waluigi? Oh, okay. he, Wait, th there's been he some big. He, it's a What's lot of the the, um, the sexual prowess that I am just not man enough to handle. You know the okay. the uh, okay, understandable. The, so the, because he's sexy, you don't like it. <laughs> yeah, question mark. That's Listen, it. Man. I feel emasculated it's compared okay to, to Waluigi. Gay. That's it. Oh. That's why Bacon doesn't like us, dude, because they're too sexy for him. Yeah, <laughs> that makes actually quite a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes sense, uh, dude. The buckle lore. It, it's got to be the hip thrusting in Mario football that just... Mm. No, dude. That's so sick in their moves, dude. In the second game, the whole, the whole team is doing it, dude. Like, that that's makes it all better, dude, when the whole team is like... No, I still can't believe cool they got away, like... Because it was a third-party game. Like, that's Nintendo just handing it out for, you know, spin-offs, but... How they yeah. put that in and Nintendo was okay really bewilders me, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure I told Bunny this one, one day, but like, th that's how I feel like maybe a strike won't happen again. Because that game was pretty, uh, like, I would say, kid friendly at all. Mm. So, I, I doubt we're gonna do another one, but I hope so, dude, because it's my favorite sports game, for sure. Mm. As well, when you think about it right now, we're at the prime age where. The, like the nostalgia age for example pokemon snap just coming out right now i think the biggest fan base for that is people my age who had the original pokemon snap you know and yep. so we're still getting like the, the n64 age so we're moving into the gamecube age and thus you're you're going to see a lot of gamecube games come back i am super open for wave race and like f-zero x and all of that to be redone but at the same time Mario Strikers would be dope because that originated on the GameCube, didn't it? Yeah. Not a great game because I actually bought the game recently again to play it on uh, the Wii because because the Wii has like backwards compatibility, so mm -hmm. I, I could play it on there. It's epic, dude. Oh, it's so it's good. a good game, man. I, I would say it's the best sports game they made. But that's just me, so don't don't hate, don't hate. I, I know Bunny I, I likes a different to game. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. Yeah, yeah. What do I like? Oh, oh, fucking agree yeah. with me, dude. Yeah, I, I prefer the Wii version over the GameCube version. Yeah, for I me mean, for sure because it has way more. Uh, way more to it, yeah. Yeah, you could do way more to it, and also a lot more characters and stuff. So of course. Mm. Was Bunny's game, dude? Hoops 3v3 on the DS, I think. Yeah, yeah. On the what? No, no, no. The DS. Oh, DS. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was a good game, dude. Yeah, it was a good game. I liked it. Yeah, the special move with um, with my boy, baby, uh, baby, uh, baby Bowser. Oh, baby Bowser. Uh, Bowser Jr. Yeah, Bowser Jr. That's what I'm going for. Guy, Just dude. accept it. Accept the name. Oh, I accept it. Dude. Man, he had, a, he had a sick move. You know, he whips out that uh, the inked. The color, mm -hmm. he just goes nuts. Yeah, you love to see it, dude. Dude, have you ever seen the, the freaking moose from uh, Strikers? Because there, they actually go Super Saiyan, all of them. It's crazy. Oh, I mean, yeah, so everyone dope. goes Super Saiyan in that game as well. It's just we all love. No, but dude, they they Rose actually to gods, to gods, dude. Okay, it's a bit, it's a bit even far be to me. <laughs> That's good, and even better because, of course, Bass Junior being a little kid, everything he does is challenge you, and so it super moves him, screaming really loud into the ball. <laughs> Uh, it's just good, dude. It's, and of course, like I said about Luigi being sexy, he has a whip, dude. He, he has does. A whip. <laughs> and that's, again, very <laughs> discomfort on a PG game. It's not. <laughs> it's not. He's dropping it's hints, cool. dude. He's dropping hints. Uh, 
<laughs> just getting ready your BDSM daddy Waluigi. That is it. <laughs> He's just out here showing what he likes. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but anyway, the reason I bring that up is there's been... I don't want to say little leaks or anything at all, but... You, you know when Nintendo is planning something new because they've just updated his character. And oh, that's the harbour down there. I never knew yeah. that on this map. Oh, my God, come on, dude. It's all, it's all one big map, dude. That's, that's what makes yeah. it cool. You can no, see it's all so of cool it. cool in the background, yeah. Not all of um, it, but it depends on the map you are. But anyway, they've got new character art on the Nintendo website for Waluigi as well as Power have just done a brand new Waluigi like skinned controller and it's part of their wireless line. I don't know if there's a wired version of it. I didn't check on that. That's uh, Bacon doing bad research. But those Power A controllers are... They have, like, the Nintendo seal of approval. There's Power A and Hori that both have the, like, Nintendo seal of approval, like, as official merch. And so that's quite a big one because Nintendo must allow this or at least want this because if you're power a you've got to be there going oh no we just do you know the main cast as such so for waluigi to have one, well they did I'm it i'm gonna check they did yeah. do the main uh, they did they did the main cast i'm actually yeah. gonna he's, check he's, if main event i mean uh, <laughs> don't uh, save you waluigi <laughs> yeah i don't know what you're talking about here like it's still main event they did nothing <laughs> wrong waluigi has only ever been in spin-off games okay he's never been in a main game well, he's still the best character in a spin-up game. Yeah. Question mark. So, who cares? So, uh, yeah, what, what are you trying to say? Yeah, what are you trying to say? He's still the best I'm character in a spin-up game. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm dude, not no, saying dude, he's not the best means... character. I'm just saying that he's not main roster because he's not been in a mainline game. You can't disagree with that. I'm sorry. No, I won't because dude, they, they can't handle. They can't handle him. <laughs> they can't put him in a main game because he will take over the main... Look. You know? Put him in a mm -hmm, Mario mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. They will yeah, have to change yeah, the title. Be, it it won't be Mario game. It will be a Waluigi game. <laughs> Legit though, this is not wrong, dude. This means this this new render, dude. It means it's gonna be actually, dude. This means what are you on about, by the way? Mario dancing game, dude. That's a, that's a mainline game. The final boss is Waluigi. In Mario dancing, you mean yeah, the dude. Mario yeah, yeah. dance revolution? That's yeah, cool to spin off. Dance, dance that's revolution. not no, 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 a mainline no, no. game. No, it's not. A, no, it's, it's a mainline main, game. Dude. Mainline main game. But, but, isn't main. Imagine Waluigi. In Mario Odyssey, it wouldn't be what Mario Odyssey it would be. What Wal Waluigi Odyssey? <laughs> yeah, it honestly would be, dude. Oh, love it. Look, dude, but anyway, saying, so to this add means, on to Waluigi that as again. well, generally, Power A only do controllers of I don't want to say big games, but if a character's got that, there's actually relevance to it. So you got your Animal Crossing controllers, uh, you know, your different Mario characters, your Pokemon ones. On top of that, they do have stuff like there's a Doom Eternal controller, which I, I think Bunny would probably think is pretty dope. Um, okay. Yeah, because yeah, it looks know, good. Man. A he just assumed it. He just assumed it. So no, I'll, it's quite I'll a cool it, dark black controller with red buttons. Like, it looks pretty good. Okay, red research buttons. time. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, off the back of that, whenever there's any, I want to say third party, like uh, Goomba might like, that there's a uh, Super Meat Boy controller on there too. You know, I, but, I think it's mostly that. To it? add that to the list, to me, is pretty cool, especially with how it looks, follows in line with, um, I know, like their battles are in Donkey Kong ones. So it, it stands to thought, and there's an Apex Legend ones as well for anyone that cares. Yeah, about I looked that. it up. Mm -hmm. I hate to break it to you, but I don't like it, man. You don't well, like it. Back on, have you, have you something here, dude? Go. Don't assume. Makes don't assume. Of you and me. Okay, then never do it again. Mm. So this mistake. And I think bridge, I like think that. that leaves us to the point that we're not getting a Waluigi game too. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 we ch 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 <laughs> why not? We're getting why not? Waluigi's world. <laughs> getting Wal why? Why would we not we're just getting... get a new warrior? Well, or you no. know, one of those oh, warriors. He's games. over. He's done with. The age he's of warriors. He, he got cancelled. Dude, we're gonna get Waluigi's taco stand. It's gonna be an amazing game. Whoa! Kind of like overcooked, but better. Way better. Way Waluigi's better. taco stand. I yeah. no, it's gonna be like cooking mama, but it's gonna be cooking <laughs> yeah. Waluigi. I, I could Sick. I could live with that, yeah. Everyone like Waluigi trying Hopefully to be a chef. Again. That sounds pretty dope as a storyline. Well, it, it's also a fan made game already, so <laughs> well, Waluigi's well, done ta taco oh, I did not know game. that was a thing. I'm I'm oh, now wow. gonna look this wow. up. Wow. Dude. Wow. I was gonna do research. 
You never know about Waluigi Taco stand, man. Yikes. This, um, this guy clearly has Waluigi. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Hate I'm sorry. to see it. Dude, it's so cringe when you hate on a random Mario character, dude. Like, people are hating on a honeybee in Mario Kart 7, dude. Like, relax, dude. There's I a few pixels they, uh, on your screen. Relax. But wait, they hate him? Yeah, they hated their uh, the honey queen. So weird. All right, Everyone liked her in Mario Taco. Galaxy. Taco. Yeah, well, because he was not a, probably uh, Wait, taking the Luigi's Taco actually, stand is a Mario 64 so ROM hack. So okay, that's Dude. unique. And now know why people are hating on uh, the B because he took Luigi's spot in Mario Kart 7. <laughs> that's why. Nah, oh, makes so much spot. Weird. I still never understood why they put the uh, Queen B in that game over like other characters. Yeah, what a Luigi, the weird. main event. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, this new art shows him sort of weirdly seductively looking over his shoulder with a rose in his mouth, which is very Waluigi. And Loki. I'm, I'm, I'm just Man there Man. going. <laughs> it, it's got to be a new Mario Golf game. Like It's just new art from that, and they're using it on the website for him. That That's what yeah, it okay. is, right? Uh, he's okay. not wearing a Counter golf argument. Suit. Counter argument. Yeah. Okay. What, what he said, why isn't he wearing his, his golf suit? Question mark. Because that, that's one. that's a very good counter argument. Um, yes, but do we know if yeah, you can customize you, your you. outfits? No, in... no, no, you can't. You can't. Uh, I think you can, but then like, Shh. why why wouldn't they just use this golf outfit if it's golf promotion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which which I clearly showed off in the other gameplay where they're proud of. They were like, oh look at this, we have different outfits. So I think maybe we're getting either, either a smash new QC Mario or... basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, he's wearing a normal... <laughs> he's always wearing normal clothes there, dude. Yeah, but... I mean, actually, maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Even better, mind. a new Mario Kart. Oh, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Ain't happening, boy. I'm looking at the image now and I'm severely traumatized by... What I mean, we're why, doing. dude? <laughs> he's looking... He's looking extra spicy in that picture. Yeah. It, it's the way his back bends, I think. I, oh, he's it, just showing just his unnatural. ass. natural. It looks like an OnlyFans girl, dude. <laughs> well, it makes it even better. Dude. It's an yeah, upside dude. down you... question mark. Only it's fans. really <laughs> odd. Uh, like, with how his back bends to that. Yeah. Not. It's got to be super uncomfortable. But hey. Don't you need he's, he's, the uh, rocket jump add on nope. to get to that? Wow. Okay. Impressive. I'm a professional gamer. He did not, dude. He did not. <laughs> I'm a professional he gamer, not. dude. Don't ever doubt me again. <laughs> But yeah, so a lot of people hype about that. Like you said, Waluigi, I still am convinced it's just a meme, but it's getting so meme that it's becoming official. Uh, it is... Waluigi is the Dogecoin of Mario characters. That, that is chill, a dude. Doge is becoming real shit. It's no longer a meme, It, it crashed yesterday, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, who cares? It's you going back you, up you like, need crashes uh, to like go back up, moon, dude. dude. Yeah, but dude. My point being, if someone memes... You can't if, always In our six. culture, if we meme about it so much, it actually becomes a thing. And yes, that's what's happening with Waluigi. That's what we're trying to do. That's the whole yeah. point. Point, dude. <laughs> we so we want a Waluigi game. Yeah. Dude, ever wants it? Do it. Make it, Nintendo. You know. Listen to the podcast. I know you're listening. I've seen you. I've seen you trying to take it down. <laughs> so again, with like one net, the Switch Pro, not a thing, sadly, boys. We got a new blue Switch Lite, and that that was, the, you know, we've already got a blue Switch. This is just a, like a slightly darker one, which was a little bit weird purple. and out of nowhere it's because. Purple. I mean, it's sort of like a dark it's blue. Well, Luigi, I, I would... It's an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why the render came out. It's the Waluigi Switch, yeah. right? Yeah. It's the Waluigi Switch. <laughs> but yeah, looking at the figures as well, Switch Lite's not selling as much as I thought. Like, when you look at the distribution, I think it was. I'm going to quickly try and go find it uh, to see the number of Switch Lights compared to regular Switches. But I think it was a very small percentage in the grand oh, scheme obviously. of things. Uh, there you go. So, over in, in just uh, 2021, we'll count. Uh, 20.3 million Switches sold. 8.5 million Switch Lights. And for some reason, for me, like you were saying, Trip, about you want, like Nintendo wanting more of a mature audience, I thought the Switch lights would be selling more than regular Switches. For the kids. For the kids, yeah. But clearly, that's not happening. You know, when when Switch lights are only selling, 
I'm, I'm trying to like add it up. What's eight and a half out of um, 29, like as a percentage? Um, oh man. <laughs> Yeah, Did 35 percent or something like that. No, not even that. Nah, no, just go for it. This level of Spain, dude. <laughs> uh, right, let, let me... Uh... You could just say 30%. It's, it's around 30% anyway. Uh, 30, yeah, 29, 28. Probably, yeah, 29% of Switches sold are Switch lights. That, to me, feels small. I thought you'd be probably closer to... Because the main Switch would sell more. Like, it just... You, you would get that, right? But I was expecting it to be closer to, like, f between 40 and 50%. So, it feels somewhat small. Like, Switch lights aren't the oh. main thing. I mean, it makes sense, because you lose the whole function of the Switch when you buy the Switch lights. Mm. You, you, like, 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 you lose all taking it home and playing it home and taking it on a, on a holiday and just take it out to Switch, you know? So, it just seems... Yeah. To me, it seems not a good purchase, because you only save 100 euros to it as well, where you lose the main... A feature to a switch. I mean, but like, like maybe this money must be targeted to, uh, I'd say, like really young kids instead of uh, because even around age 10, I'm, I'm sure your parents would buy you a normal switch into the light. But yeah. surely you understand that you know it's probably more, more oh, it's not good. Or parents that want it as like the family console to be able yeah. to play with their kid because you, you can't do that with switch like you can, but. You, you would have to have it in the handheld mode because yeah. you can use wireless controllers on it, like go get an extra set of Joy-Cons, but who would play it that way, right? So It's not a waste of your money because then you hmm. pay another 80 for two Joy-Cons. That, that's it, yeah. So and it makes sense. I'm, I'm surprised you, Nintendo never them? actually um, did the opposite way around where you can use another Switch's Joy-Cons on another Switch. So like using the uh, Switch Lite as Joy-Cons for... A regular switch like that'd be great functionality to add in there like so you I can connect up the switches together because you know there's like uh what's it in mario party you can connect different mm -hmm. switches together to extend some of the games yeah yeah surely there's got to be a way to be able to connect a switch light so you can use its joy cons on a regular switch if you wanted to do that but it doesn't have joy cons well, the Switch Lite does, you know, but they're just attached. They're built in. Yeah, yeah but then they're not Joy-Cons. They're just... <laughs> just they're, buttons. They're, I, mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. That's a whole problem with Switch Lite. It's a whole, one whole big thing, mm. you know? But surely and it should this... have that functionality in it, because and maybe it just doesn't. Like, they, they've cheaped out, because uh, I think it yeah. doesn't have a blue... No, it does have a Bluetooth chip in it, because that's how you can connect other devices to it. So, it's weird. I don't know. Did you I mean, see you the other week as well, actually, the uh, the Bluetooth chip in it got an update so that you can send audio through Bluetooth now uh, on the Switch, but it's just not been made available as such. Oh. Dick? A great yeah. question So I can finally uh, connect my AirPods? <laughs> not yet, because it's not okay. made available, but Quite sad. Like, it seems weird that they haven't made a thing in all. Oh, buggy game. I'm stuck. Let me in! I'm not in. Oh, let me in this one! Yes, dude. Dude, this map is just straight up pain, man. It's such a bad I can map. imagine a couple of listeners at home that aren't even watching and are just suffering like PTSD too right now. I, I, what the hell is that? that? Help! <laughs> let me out! Oh. This is such a bad map, dude. Worst map they ever made in Mario game. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Oh, really this is. one or the one with the lily pad, where I have to go to the lily pad. It's also pretty bad. Oh, no, that one's okay. This is way worse than that because it just doesn't oh, no. work. You get caught on so much. Like there, you ground pounding and going flying. I gotta go like... backwards again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> two more, two more, then we can leave, dude. That's what we need. Mm. Please. Uh, oh, anyway, more, more whilst spot. the Switch light gets a new color, uh, did you guys see that there's thoughts that the PlayStation 5, yeah, PlayStation 5, geez, might be getting its uh, revision in 2022, like Christmas time, as time. AMD's, like, new chips, uh, because the PS5 and the Xbox um, all run off the uh, off from AMD, but they could be using AMD's new 6 nanometer chip, so possibly PS5 Pro in 2022, do we think that's a thing? I feel like it's a bit early, but sure. You'd do it? 
It's no, bugs. You've got the PS5 it. out of us. I mean, uh, <laughs> do you think it's needed? Do you think they need <laughs> no, a PS5? No, not at all. Okay. No, not at all. Oh, oh, I guess so. There is like ray tracing on some games, and they run 30 FPS instead of 60. Oh man. This but, is pain. Yeah. Do you think ray tracing is worth it? No. Well. Yeah. No. Not at the Honestly, moment. Honestly, no. At the moment, not. It's not that I mean, good. Only with like re games that really focus on it. Surely it'll have more features though. Yeah, of course it's gonna have more, more space features, and stuff. I feel like serious 2022. Like mm. when they it got, it got released September. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in a hurry, dude. They, yeah, they, they are in a hurry. They can't even <laughs> provide PS5s to everyone yet. <laughs> but off they the back the of that, because <laughs> AMD already have these six nanometer chips, right? So that's. Just, that could mean that they're putting out more PS5s to, of course, widen the market. Because if you can't get a hold of a PS5, but you can get a hold of a PS4, uh, PS5 Pro, costs an extra hundred quid, whatever. You might go and pay you that extra hundred to get one, right? So it's an Amabu rule yeah. with the games that are out right now for the PS5. I feel like 2022 is going to be way too early. 2023, hmm. I might say, yeah, wouldn't be surprised if they do then. But 2022, man, they have to do a lot this year to make it. Hmm. Make oh, it, you it's know, free, baby. It's free. Yeah, 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 of course. That's the <laughs> dream. So, but uh, 2022. That's it's next year. I don't know, man. That's uh, quite early for a pro version. What about then? If they're doing, because it's going to be a new generation of chips, so they could underclock them. Have you? Th there's the reports of the PS5 running really hot. Have you experienced that yourself? Does the console no. get like super no. hot? No, I think it's all right. It's just a huge thing standing there, but no, it's all right. <laughs> it's a big Wi-Fi router. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, I mean, I'm that console sure it just is made... huge, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, what? it's um. Let's have a look. It's almost the size of my screen. Like Jesus. Three four. Okay, nice. Wow. nice. And uh, my screen is forty two. <laughs> so that's also a big bacon. boy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed you didn't even talk about uh, the new uh, Nintendo console they're already working on. The which new was Nintendo also, console? What? Yeah, but yeah, they talked about it during the press conference about their... Uh, Wii Fit Plus? No, dude, they're actually going to make a new Nintendo console after Switch. Oh. Like they said, Switch is halfway. And of course, uh, a few years ago, it was not even sure they would make a new console. But they confirmed there was going to be a new one, dude. I so did not see this. Switch? Sorry, no, I did not see that they were yeah, doing a new that. console. Because like I was expecting like us not to even be at the halfway point right now of how Nintendo oh, do no. things. You think the 3DS is only just getting discontinued at the moment? Like they mm -hmm. discontinued it in December, was it? They're still supporting it as such, but I think that support goes on for a fair bit longer. But it's just production of new 3DSs. So I was thinking, like, hence the Switch Pro or whatever being a thing at the end of this year or next year, and then we go on for another free. Like, we're still quite a ways away from the next console. I mean, like I said, it's like when right now we're all the way point they said, so which is five years, so another five years, and then the new mm -hmm. consoles coming out. So like, it's been a ten years for our console. It's pretty long, I'd say. Mm. Ten years. Five years. So, oh yeah, ten, ten, ten in total. So it's quite a long time. An interesting topic off the back of that, because I know I've been very vocal about cloud gaming and how I think that's going to be a future of games. It makes sense to put that all into a service. And for me, getting Game Pass has been great. But Nintendo and Sony, because you got to think Sony as well, offers PS Plus, but it feels more like it's a uh, afterthought. They're not really too fussed with it. They are looking more to just stay i want to say traditional with how gaming has always been you know you buy the game when you want it and you've got it on your console you own it unless you know with downloads you technically are just buying the right to play it you don't actually own it like with physical copies but that's just you know law stuff and all of that but do you do you guys think that we're going to get another console generation or are we just going all cloud gaming what were your guys' thoughts on that because for me i can't honestly with the way the internet is going off that and just connections widely, I think give it, you know, 2026 20, when you were saying about, you know, probably when the next generation okay. is going to be. So yeah. for the PS6 or whatever, I honestly don't think we'll be in a place where console gaming will be such a thing and it'll 
Unless, I don't know, it goes more like PC orientated. Well, so, I mean, yeah, I'm very confused by this question, honestly. I'm trying to figure out what you're asking. Well, he's been but, asking, do you think there'll be another line of uh, consoles coming out? Where we get oh, another you generation. mean, yeah, what PS6, you mean, just PS6? Yeah, 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 well, yeah PS6, I feel like PS6, Switch 2, whatever. The, yeah, yeah, Switch 2, well, Switch 2 is pretty much confirmed, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's already in work, so. Yeah. So, well, that oh. answers the question, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> it will. I mean, I mean, of course there will be, because uh, isn't there like a new something where like this, you can film in 8K? So, surely 8K is the next step for consoles mm. then, with PS6 uh, and uh, Xbox, I think. And then perhaps um, finally Nintendo will make the move to uh, 4K. Yo! That's a fair point, because what, Olympics what? this... Then ADP, maybe. <laughs> no, Olympics this summer, uh, the Tokyo Olympics, are going to be available to watch in 8k so they're going to have 8k cameras broadcasting live yeah um because we're now getting 4k like normal as tv in that aren't we but mm -hmm. 8k i think oh, is only going to be speed, via man. download like so you streaming it because you can't put out like the data for it over like regular traditional satellite and all of that so you have to go on mm -hmm. to i know in the uk it would be done by the bbc and you can whatever 8k is going to be at like i'm trying to think right now that's got to require a ungodly like 80 megabits a second uh download rate to be able to handle 8k because 4k is massive as it is already it's like 20 25 megabits a second i'm trying to figure what yeah, 8k is we, will, we, will, we also got fast internet speed and everything, dude. The future is gonna be crazy, man. Mm. Not my words. This game is uh, really crazy, by the way. I'm this surprised you're still doing this level. Well, I want to be the viewers, dedication. dude. I want to be the viewers. <laughs> oh, this is a part of the I can make, I can look at this, dude. Here we go. Well, I'm going backwards. I'm jumping forwards, dude. And now I'm here again. <laughs> this map is just so broken. <laughs> Please. This map shows how broken this game is. I can just imagine the YouTube comments just now, just pain, pain. That's it, you've lost. Can you please go to a different level? You're giving me No, 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 we can't, oh. no, we can't give up now. Come Look. on, man. I always avoided this level when playing Shows this game. Weakness. Yeah, no, yeah, but he said no weakness, dude. <laughs> no weak on, you're weak. I actually said don't show weakness, but yeah, yeah that's what yeah. That's your weakness, that's what I'm talking about. No weakness here, dude, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to make it. Trust me. Look at that, I already have four. Already all way. <laughs> you had five last time. You were able to get yeah. one extra hole. Yeah, but now four in one go. Look at this. That's what she said. One jump. Oh, one jump. Oh, one jump. Okay. One jump. One jump. Oh. No, st strats. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you so tried. I, so oh. I got extra speed again. This game is... Oh, five. There we go. Yeah. We're, we're making it already. Easy, mm. dude. It's going to be easy. It's easy. No negativity, please. Oh. <gasps> What the fuck? <laughs> this game makes what no sense. What is this? <laughs> if you could see my total input, it would be even better. Like, I'm going full left, dude. Full left, <laughs> ground pad, full left, uh, dive. Oh. I'm going right side every time. Here it is, this time. Gonna be I wrong. would love to know, like, the discussion with the team when they were porting this game across, and they were just like, yeah, we're not even going to touch this one. <laughs> like, it's just not worth it. Let's go. <laughs> you, you can't fix this pachinko mini level it's just too oh. bad at least you can game over in this one watch him do it watch him do it i'm gonna do it uh, uh, maybe to the end of the podcast i'm gonna do it it's something something nice for the viewers dude let me make it <laughs> so everyone on spotify go on youtube right now and you can see it okay we're here again oh <laughs> okay I, I didn't even move this this time i wasn't even moving I just went for it <laughs> look at this cheat no, no, nah, ain't happening. Impossible. Don't worry. Did you keep talking about what you're talking about? about the <laughs> okay. generation, PlayStation? So, yeah. So, generation. next generation, like, clearly with Microsoft putting it all into these game passes, and if you get Game Pass Ultimate, you also get Xbox Live. Like, clearly, I think anyway, Microsoft are uh, going completely cloud-based. They're showing that they don't need another generation. But... Sony and uh, Nintendo, like, we think they're going to stick to it, right? Like, Nintendo's got the right oh, idea by having a handheld at the same time because it covers as much of the market. But mm -hmm. Sony, do you? What do you think they'll do, Buns? You're a, you're our PlayStation boy, of course. Here, 
Oh, thank you so much. Because um, you own it. Okay. Yeah, just <laughs> on the PlayStation boy because I own one. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, listen, um, they will probably release a better pass eventually. Still shit at the moment, so we'll see. I guess they already have cloud-based things because um, they've cloud saves and things like that. So, mm -hmm. hey, man, uh, we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll uh, we'll we'll see what the future holds. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's pretty much me ending the PlayStation. Uh. He, he don't want to talk about it. It's, it's a sore spot for him. Okay, let's bring up a good topic for Bunny. Because the future looks bright for oh, one right, franchise. Here, here it Marvel is. Friends. DC Universe. Oh, DC? I, I still need to watch the Sna uh, Zack Snyder Cup. We talked about that uh, last week. Actually, but... Yeah, okay. Boys, I was talking about, of course, Marvel. Marvel, yeah. <laughs> I'm like confused. I, I, was, I was like, wait, is Bob going to do DC? Yeah, nah, do buy DC? No, what happened? I was like, what the nah, heck? I was just... Uh, <laughs> Meme it up. Uh, yeah. Meme. As, as someone would say, gepranked. Oh, well. Yeah. It's, not, it's, a good, it's a good sentence. Yeah. For, for, for all the, the Dutch and Belgium, Belgium fans? Yeah. All the <laughs> Dutch and Belgium fans are going to like it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they announced some new movies. Good ones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some we yeah, knew, some, of course. Yeah, some good Over. ones, some new ones. <laughs> Some things we already knew, you know. It's uh, it's a little bit of spice of everything. We got Black Widow, <gasps> Shang Chi, Eternals, Spider Man Three, Ooh. the new Thor, um, Doctor Strange, Marvel. Yeah, okay, of course, Doctor Strange. Oh man, the Doctor. The Marvel S. Me not knowing, I don't have a single clue what that the is. The Marvel I'm, I'm S. Thinking. I'm sorry. It's just uh, the listen, Marvels. Dude, the Marvels? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's weird, okay? I see a big S. I'm like, what the heck are they doing here then? Okay. Then we get Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Okay. Nice. Hey, Black Panther. Um, yeah. But they didn't actually die. Yeah, Black Panther. yeah, he did. So yeah. but, uh, CGI or something? Oh, no, no, no. They're not going to CGI. So it's probably going to be the guy that died in the first movie. Because he was presumably uh, sorry, on the set. So... Mm -hmm. um, we also got Ant Man and Wasp new movie. Okay, okay, cool. okay. Another what else we got? Uh, Guardians one, Three, Guardians oh, Three, and I... last one. <laughs> Everyone's gonna love this one. Fantastic Four. It's not this yeah, one. see, I don't really know what that entails, so I'm not really happy. I'm sorry. So the what Fantastic the Four is. one would be the weird one amongst that because just like Venom, uh, Spider Man, and such. Their license is owned by Sony, isn't Not it? Not anymore. Nope. Not anymore. They were never. No, Fantastic Four was actually owned by Fox. Universal. No, Fox. Fox. Yeah. Ah. Because Fox also had the. Um, what was? It? I can't remember uh, the the other movies with mutants. X Men. X Men. Yeah. Ah. And that's also now Mar Marvel, so Disney owned. Mm. Hence, so, yeah, of course, there's another X Men film on Disney the way, owned? I think. Um, so they must have had Everything to buy them owned. then, because yeah. that was the whole thing. Where can you remember the Fantastic Four film that came out like five years ago and was absolutely dreadful? I was alright. Mm, um, yeah, it was. <laughs> it's it a bit terrible. weird sometimes, I, yeah. but it was alright. But it was purely made because when you, it comes to like licensing and that for films, you, you've got a certain period where you've got to like uphold making a film for it, and it was one of those to keep the rights putting a film out. Like, Very true. Yeah. The same with they, Fantastic they had to make Four. It, I think or they it was. Lose it. There was one back in like the nineties where they made it and just put it out to like one or two cinemas, and that was just it because that was enough to qualify for it. And the yeah, actors so, all um, thought they had these big superhero films, and yeah, they well. were just there to keep the license, <laughs> which is beautiful. Nah, yeah. so uh, ranked again, dude. Yeah. Disney was like, ranked. "Hey, Fox, uh, can we have that?" They were like, "No." So Disney was like, "You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll just buy Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to us." No. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I remember that now. Hence and why... that's why The Simpson is yeah. also on Disney Plus and Star. You know? Yeah. So uh, best of all worlds. Yo. Yeah. Disney yeah, is yeah. scary as a company. Like, how much scary. They you, you talk about the last time, dude. They have no competition yeah. anymore. Yeah, you know, next week they own uh, my dad's cheese business. I don't know. We've no, got to look out, cheese dude. business, dude. Everybody's <laughs> cheese business. That, Mickey Mouse business. out of nowhere coming out. In the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mickey <laughs> Cheese. Look out, dude. Mickey Cheese. No, dude. 
I mean, nah, I'll, I'll actually buy that. Mickey Cheese sounds cool. <laughs> this is gonna be a scam, dude. Don't, don't it's fall for it, man. Scam. Mm. Don't fall for it. It's a the mountain with will... cheese. It's different. It's scary. Look at dude, you. Gotta look out, dude. De defend the store with all your honor you got, dude. You gotta oh. defend the store. Oh, he nearly saved it. I'll defend Sorry. the store. <laughs> this game is painful, dude. You're, you're so giving yeah, me that's, pain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the bunny's movement movie segment. Well, no, bunny. Which, one, which of these oh. are you looking forward to? Chill. Most? Come oh, on, okay. elaborate. Oh, okay, well, because yeah. what we've got Black Minions. Widow is this yeah, summer. Minions. Minions. I want to say July. I'm quickly looking at it now. July 9th. Not July. July. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, and that then leads all the way to 2020. I know three for Guardians of the Galaxy. Did Fantastic Four have a? No, um, it's just they, no, they were like, hey, look at this. Yeah. This is okay. cool. So this year, it's Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, and Spider-Man 3. That's uh, a lot of Black films Widow this year. Black Widow is going to be half. sick, probably. Shang-Chi, I was pretty pretty excited for, but I don't know, man. The trailer looked kind of weird. It didn't look that sick mm. yet, but we'll see. Eternals is going to be huge. Big actors, really big. Angelina Jolie is also in there. No, mm, really okay. big actors. Um, so that's. I'm looking forward to that one. And of course, Spider-Man 3, because we're hoping for Tobey Maguire to return. They said that, didn't they? Where they had Tobey Maguire and... Andrew oh, Garfield, who's, yeah. Yeah, Garfield in there. The cat, not the actor, sorry. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine? I just said Andrew, man. Uh, well, Andrew what's Garfield. happening? Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. That, that's happening, yeah. Well, which one I'm looking forward to? Um, Eternals, all I them. guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, all of them, of course. <laughs> no, but it's either, either Spider-Man 3 or uh, Eternals. Has he done it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, no, he's still going to get the yet. middle not one. We yet. can't, yeah. Not there yet. Okay. No hype yet. No hype in the chat. Keep talking. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Chew's got to concentrate here. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you're looking forward to Eternals the most? Yeah, Eternals is cool. Like, it's like something completely new. No one really knows about that. If you if you look if you know the comics, it's sick. But mm. well, because yeah, that and Shang Chi, I don't think anyone that hasn't like myself included has no clue about these two characters. And yeah. for me personally, yeah. being a filthy superhero casual, I'm there going. I'll probably just wait for those to come out at, on like. Disney Plus, wherever I'm not going to go to the cinema if they're being put out of the cinema because I don't know this character. The same Black Widow, I don't really like. I waited for most of the Marvel films come out, but Spider Man, dude, I'm looking forward they to that. They love Spider Man, you can hear that. You, you really love mm -hmm. it. Hey, he's a he's Spider -Man. Spider -Man. Yeah, he's a Spider Man guy. I mean, is he the most popular one as well? Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man, yes. I think yes. Iron Man probably. Or Iron Man. Them, but. Like, no, I still feel like Spider Man is just mainly. If mm. you show Spider Man, everyone will see Spider Man. True. Yeah, same with Iron Man or not? No, yeah, it, well, I feel like mm -hmm. Iron Man people would say Iron Man, but Sp it's Spider Man, come on, man. <laughs> it's Spider Man <laughs> Spider Man is up there with, you know, it's it's always like, oh, Spider Man, Batman, Superman. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much, you know. He, the, he's the, on that the three list, everyone yeah. knows. As long as, long, long as he has man in his name, even though it's a kid, it's about yeah, a kid. Yeah, Sp Sp Spider Kid, you know. I mean, everyone, the whole reason is, it. I mean, it's no gimmick that no one knows he's a uh, a kid, Spider Man. I can't wait uh, for I'm, the I'm next I'm yeah, Spider Verse yeah, yeah. film. You know, they're doing another cartoon one. Yeah, that yeah, I can't yeah. wait for very much. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, good. Style. that's a good one. Mm. Um, Especially the really thick man, the really white boy in that movie. The, the, uh, <laughs> he was really Wilson Fisk. <laughs> yeah, that guy was really really thick, dude. <laughs> He was so a large boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the moment there, I thought you were speaking about uh, noir Spider-Man, you know, because uh, he was just in black and white, and that was played by Nicolas Cage, which is Ooh. super dope. Like, Nick Cage just randomly in there, like, no idea why. <laughs> he's there, he's have a good time, dude. Yeah, he's just, just chilling, just vibing. Also, next month, Loki series from Disney+. Plus. Ooh. Not a series, okay. Yeah. Series. Do we know and what exactly that, that's about? Uh, so in Endgame, mm -hmm. uh, is it spoilers if I say it? I mean, Endgame has been no, out for two no. years. Yeah, now. yeah, no. A anyone that's here listening to this right now would have seen Endgame. Like they would. Okay, so Endgame, and if you haven't, skip to a different yeah, time. Just, uh, video. just go away, all right? 
Uh, so in Endgame, wait for us to say it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> for everyone so, that was watching, the podcast ends here for you. Yeah, much. this is this is it. <laughs> See you next week. I'll be you can time. watch. You can watch Endgame. You know, just be my guest. You can come back it once you watch it. All right. <laughs> So, in Endgame, he steals, like, the Tesseract, one of those stone, mm -hmm. you know, boxes, and then he leaves, and that's pretty much where it will start off. Mm. And he gets caught by, like, uh, interdimensional people. Dimensional. Shit. So, it's a continuation to the current story. A little bit like oh, how... Uh, uh, pretty much a side, because in the mm. official timeline, he, he's just dead. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, this is rip. just a spin-off. And it's just gonna be like, hey, here's a Loki series. Good, if you wanted to say goodbye. One I watched all the Marvel movies, and even if I didn't know he died. Because <laughs> uh, there's Captain no, this Marvel he actually died. and uh, the Winter Soldier, is it? The TV show, six episodes, whatever, which is like a continuation, ain't it? Uh, Captain Marvel uh, or Captain America? Sorry. Nice. Falcon. Falcon. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but you tried. Ah, that's you did it, yeah. But he takes um, on... Uh, Captain America's shield next. That's what they show. Yeah. Like it's the, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. That's big spoilers though. That, that hasn't been released. I, I wouldn't go as far as releasing that, dude. Oh, back going with the line. The, the episode's like already out, and yeah, I mean they on, show man. it at the end of uh, Endgame anyway, where he gives over the shield, you know, and the. Yeah, um, okay. Okay. Fair so, enough. Yeah. 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 That's okay. 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 <laughs> um, and after that, we get a Hawkeye series after the Loki Ooh. one. Is anyone actually excited for the yeah. Hawkeye series, though? Like, yeah, man. We all love yeah. Haley Steinfeld. She's joining. She's sick. So, <laughs> I don't even know who Hawkeye is, to be honest. He's it's the, the guy, guy with, with the bow. bow. That's it. Oh, okay. I know. I know. <laughs> you can see why I mean, like, no one really cares. Like, it's just dude nah, with bow. everyone loves him, dude. I remember when he wasn't in Infinity War. They were like, uh, it's just they lost because he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The only time he was a good character was uh, Endgame when he became like edgy and was like in Tokyo or something, fighting the Yakuza. That was like, oh dude, he's finally a cool character. Oh no, he's back in spandex and being a dweeb. Oh, shame. Hey man, chillax, dude. You're gonna get hate, man. You're gonna lose fans by saying these uh, these things. <laughs> they're all gonna work. They're all gonna work with the flex fans, dude. Make yeah, boys. Dude. They're falling apart. That's it. The flex fans grow. Oh, it's fine. Junior. Well, I mean. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bunny wouldn't mind, dude. No. Growing a sound base. Of course. We, we, we all want more love. <laughs> we all want more love. We all want more TikToks. Wait, what? Yeah. Did you say it out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Can we also address this? Like, why Baby Bowser? Or Bowser Jr., sorry, because they're different characters, aren't they? Baby Bowser and mm -hmm. Bowser Jr. But why know. Bowser Jr. thinks Peach is his mum? Like, that's a... Well, it's just some well, backstory. No, no, no. Some it, kinky it things. more lore, dude. First of all, this is the first time Bowser Jr. appeared in a Mario game ever, dude. Mm. So there you go. Second of all, in the, at the end of the game, when you beat the game, I'm, I'm pretty sure Baka never did it, so that's why I don't know. But when you beat the game... No, he admits he, she's not. I know that. Yeah. And then he says, I know, the whole time, dude. He the whole time. He just <laughs> wanted to make Papa proud. Mm. So. But it's just like such a weird basis for a story. I know it's Mario and you shouldn't take the story yeah. seriously, but oh my God, it's just so it? odd. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this, this game was like uh, still was a weird one in the whole series, mm. the whole 2D series. I, I just find it weird things. that Peach is just so confused by it all. And instead of like denying it, it's just they're like, Mama? Like, did, did I well, ever have to give birth to a weird lizard dragon thing? I t she probably did a dirty with Bowser. Yeah, I, I was about that. to say, man. If, she qu if she's questioning it, you already know he, he hit that. And Mario, Mario still believes not to know, dude. He still doesn't, he doesn't was, get the reference. There was a couple of Definitely. missed years for Peach where she just, you know, wild, wild college years. And she doesn't yes. really remember a what happened during that Dirty skank years. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, relax. Nah, I'm That's a bit harsh. <laughs> nah, listen, dude. I'm saying it. <laughs> Relax, man. Come on. But we we all had that weird part of our childhood, which we can't really remember too much, just like it happened. Um, I, I I didn't have skank years. <laughs> well, you did, but but the, the thing okay, is, you, you, don't, you don't remember it. You don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Say. You did, but you didn't remember it. Oh, of course. That's <laughs> what he just said. He listened, please. This is the podcast, all right? Uh, one of my funniest, Many like, fans. or one of my best memories, like. 
of remembering, uh, not remembering that, but the stories is with uh, the guy who plays Chandler and Friends. Um, oh, it. can't Are remember the just... actor's name, Matthew. Uh, Carney? No. All right, all right, all it's right. It's not even going to be Matthew, is it? Uh, but yeah, where just oh, no. during like season five, season six, and that he was just such a heavy alcoholic that he can't even remember filming episodes. And you're just like, how the hell did you film whilst just not rem like being blacked out? That's incredible. But just so weird, like how that can be processed and how you can have blank out parts of uh, your mind. And I didn't know you could do that, too. <laughs> what? Okay, the, the background guy actually didn't play this game properly, dude. I, I never cared about the blue <laughs> coins. I just, you know, got the normal shines because you don't need all of them to get up to Mount Corona. Oh, tell me, you never completed the Ma Mount the Corona? I never 100. The, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the big volcano is called Mount Corona. Oh, Bunny, before you freak out, it Corona so just well. means king. Uh, I know. This guy needs to learn how to aim, man. He's not Corona doesn't aim, mean me. uh, king, it's. Um, no, it means Gran. Yeah, because it's the crown of the sun. Yeah. So, yeah. Corner one. What does that mean? You That's love it. to see it. What? Uh, get the coins. Get the coins. You I'm trying to get the coins, coins but... No, I mean, drop coins? coins. Psych! Ha! <laughs> Geprengt! Yeah, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, wait yeah, for the one. purple homing ones and I think drag okay, it so, around. So, so far, <laughs> Bunny, Bunny's only... There you go, yeah. So you gotta stand podcast. out and wait for the purple one. <laughs> it's a prank and talk about fake movies. I'm just pranking That's all you've done, Get purple. There he is. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. really stupid. Where is he going? Hey, into the tree, dude, of course. You know what? Who cares about the coin at this point, dude? Yeah, just get that one. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the, the stupid rat. Whoa! And it's a mole. <laughs> well, I'm gonna call the mole rat. Mm, fair. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! I, I can't say you're wrong when you go, I'm just going to call him mole rat. It's like, yeah, fair enough. Like, <laughs> if, if you're just shorting him, mole rat to rat, sure. <laughs> but Look at him. When it comes to bring us back to Marvel, to just get us back yes. into track, I'm okay. surprised these are still going because I like like many people, you know, five years ago, thought that the superhero craze would be dead and over. It's still going, and that's incredible to me. Like Everyone we don't have it, we don't have the A list anymore. Or I'm going to say the A list, but you know, the original generation, your Captain America, Iron Man, which everyone already knows, but. Are they keeping there. it fresh by moving over to these new characters, or is it just they can't think of doing anything else with them? Like, what? What? No, what do you, they're, no, they're what's keeping it fresh. Them? They're just doing different storylines. They're bringing everyone in now. I mean, yeah. What, what, what you want? Like, it's milking if you like actually yeah. keep on mm. making Captain America. If they just kept on being like, "Hey, this is Captain America. Hey, he's he's actually not. He's not gone. He's back again." What I'm well, a bit scared of because he did, they did say they were given uh, the actor who plays Captain America a contract, so that means he is coming back for something. Yeah, but obviously, it could just be cameos, so you gotta think. Yeah, of course, of course. One big, one big thing you forgot is that uh, it's owned by Disney now, so of course, gonna make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, be, no, it's still like Marvel is is um, soon. <laughs> is something right. done by Kevin Feige, and Kevin Feige is very passionate about. Mm the movie he makes so he's yeah but money talks maybe, doesn't it yeah so. of course of course but like they are saying like it works at the moment how he's doing it so they just let him do his thing yeah for and, now well yeah. yeah for now of course but, and i guess I mean, one thing as well when you look at stories. certain characters like just take batman or spider-man they had numerous characters that became those personas like there was i want to say four different spider-men might only be three i'm trying to think off the top three. of my head right now uh, Andrew like Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and Tom no, Holland. not actors. I mean, oh. like the actual characters. Like with oh, no, uh, Spider-Man, there's f I want to say four. Uh, not Spider-Man, sorry. Uh, with Batman, there's four different Batman. Is uh, there a universe? Like you got the first the one, yeah, and then Robin universe. becomes yeah. So there's got to be. <laughs> Why do you just not wait <laughs> for it to spawn? No, sorry, look, dude. I want to speed run to get that one up, dude. It's Clearly, Spider Man you know, as, a, as a whole universe. Like, you got Spider Gwen, you got Miles Morales. Spider Pig? Spider Pig, yeah, of course. Like, but. Spider yeah. Anime Girl? Wow, yeah, yeah, indeed. Or do you just, like, mean main event Spider Man? I mean main event Spider Man. The actual main character. Like, Miles Morales became the main Spider Man in the comics. Yeah, that's true. Uh, who else after that? I don't so know. All right, let's just keep it on two for now. <laughs> let's keep but it safe. That's what I'm saying. Like, so 
Disney could milk it, uh, like, quote unquote, milk it by just going they to will. <laughs> the next Spider-Man by like transitioning it on over. Technically, like I've already said, what what they've done with Captain America, giving it on over to uh, is to the Falcon, ain't it? You know, it, that's at the end of uh, Endgame. So they yeah, clearly uh, that's have not that milking capability. because that was actually story. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying they've got the capability yeah, for course, franchises course. they keep going, but they're choosing not to because we already have the films. You know, dated all the way out to. I'm assuming with Fantastic Four, that'd be 2024. They might have some more stuff yeah. in there, or it could be end 2023. Who knows? Um, but they've got all the films dated on out. They could put TV shows in there because they're quicker to make TV shows, aren't they? But they seem to not want to milk it and bring in new franchises to all this, don't they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They just have a story that they want to follow, and that's what they're going for. What, so so like, when does the story end? Because are they still making new I mean, stories? Or? Comic, there's so much, there's so much fucking shit in the comics. Like they can go on for a long time. Yeah, They're, but you like, gotta think about fan enjoyment. Like, like we said, when does it drop off, or does it not just drop off? Because surely, uh, if depends. they start to see less interest, will they just drop the films? Because they're planning like four years in advance, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like just the superhero thing is just something that will. I won't say always, but it will probably stay very, hmm. uh, you know, uh, money-wise, very good. It'll probably be, be always. I, I, I didn't want to say, but probably always a big thing, so. Uh, because people can connect to superheroes. Yeah, and they can be like, oh shit, I want to be there, that's cool. It's a cool story, you know. The kids. Give them a bit of a, yeah, you know, it's just action heroes, everyone has it as a kid, so yeah, I don't think. I didn't, it to be honest. Yeah, of course, cool. yeah, that's true. I had Mario. Mario! <laughs> he's my did superhero. You, well, he's a superhero. <laughs> I mean, off the back of that, did you do Star Wars as a kid? Like, what franchises Me? did you grow up no. with, too? Uh, oh, well, like, I'm saying franchises, but you know what I mean. Like, Batman, well, Superman, whatever. Mario, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of uh, Zelda as well. I, I'd say mostly Nintendo, and then later on, in like 12, I got into stuff like Lord of the Rings and stuff. Oh, when I was so at around that age. So nothing TV based then? Not really. I, I was watching a lot of uh, Nickelodeon and stuff, but nothing like movie wise. His, his I, big I guess maybe cars and stuff. Was big time rush. Oh, no. was a... <laughs> That's my sister's. <laughs> Their sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm with your no, sister. No, no, no. I, I liked it, but I'm not saying it's my favorite one. Relax. Dude. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm there with your sister, dude. Second Luther. Hello. Are you crazy? Yeah, yeah, I am crazy, dude. A big time rush was this shit for me. <laughs> yeah, okay, but Zika Looper, have you forgot about Zika Looper, dude? Yeah, I've heard it was good. It was good. <laughs> also, dude, we made a show, the freaking uh, school. Nets Declassified. Yeah, Hello, okay, come on. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 but still, when Big Time Rush, it's, it was just everything I wanted, dude. <laughs> Okay, not one. I'm gonna Bravely show my place. age here, but I have no idea what you two are talking about. Like Nickelodeon <laughs> for me is. was Fairy or Parents and Avatar. Same, same. I mean, same. Fairy or Parents was probably around for ages because it's a cartoon, right? Yeah. But yeah, they didn't do like live action stuff when I they they had was it Sabrina the Teenage Witch? That's so Raven. Oh wait, it's so Disney. Disney. That was Disney. I think Sabrina was as uh, well. Was a, was a Nickelodeon also had a Drake shit and Josh. Yeah, Drake and Josh. Drake, and Josh. Drake and Josh was around when I was that age. I think. That's a Raven. Uh, uh, Zoe 101. Zoe 101. I can't remember that. Oh, it was definitely there. It might be. <laughs> you were so excited there. Like, favorite show for buns. But no, like, I. Weirdly for me, like, TV show, I think, was my little brother more. And we did, I want to say, more Cartoon Network and that sort of. Uh, and Fox Kids, whatever that was. So. Also, you liked uh, Samurai Jack. I Yeah, no, that was Aaron. I never saw that for some reason. Don't know Aaron, why. Because it was a lot of like. Name uh, name draw, we had a lot of like. Pokemon was on that. Um, okay. Dragon Ball Z was massive. Like, I can remember, like, so excited. And this was ages after Dragon Ball was out, because Dragon Ball was in the 90s, you know? Um, I would have been early noughties for this, like, when I'm talking. So they probably had it, like, super cheap and, like, listened to the dubbed version. But I can remember, like, each and every week they would do two new episodes of Dragon Ball. And that was sick because Dragon Ball was awesome. So. <laughs> but. Good. 
our whole, whole life was dubbed versions <laughs> in, our, in our younger years. Yeah, all it was dubbed. We're Dutch, dude. We're Dutch. <laughs> Everything was dubbed. I look back at it now and I'm, I'm being like, what the heck? Why did I ever watch this? Well, I mean, some of them are pretty good. Uh, I'd say still like SpongeBob yeah, is even better some. in Dutch. Star Wars was better in Dutch, did you say? No, no, no SpongeBob. Better than oh, Dutch. SpongeBob. Yeah, SpongeBob was yeah, way better. Good. Way better in Dutch. The voice, the laughter, the annoyance. <laughs> I absolutely hate Spongebob, there's no FYI, I cannot well, obviously, stand be, 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 Because you're a grumpy old man. I am. Aren't you? Mm. <laughs> your whole life you've been a grumpy old man. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you don't like Spongebob, man, <laughs> it's that I, love. I would say get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Is that love, dude? Oh, this yeah. guy... oh, oh, we've got to get out of here, okay. Oh, okay, <sighs> okay. <sighs> chill. Sad. <laughs> but... You're sad, don't, don't hide it. Mm. I won't hide it. Oh, oh. Cry openly about it because I think, guys, we've got to probably lock up the bar because uh, I've looked at it and it's getting pretty late out here. I, I didn't realize how long we went on talking today, you know? It's because of the pool table. It's the new pool table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, I can see a few customers playing on it, dude. Mm. Kind of crazy. They're still going crazy. Yeah, so we'll, we'll wait for these guys to finish up their game, then we'll uh, turf them on out. I can see a 50 pence coin. Uh, on the table, so they've got one more going. We'll, we'll allow them to play it on out. But for the guys at home, we're probably going to have to do our send off. Any final words from you two lads for this week? Um, don't do drugs, kids. Don't do alcohol, kids, because clearly uh, you'll black out uh, half your life, apparently. <laughs> I feel like, no, nah, it's all right. You can do that. Just don't do the drugs. Just don't do the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, don't do too much alcohol, clearly, because you'll mm. black out. And a only if you're of age, of course. Like, we got to put that out there, you know, legal reasons. Uh, the bar is 18 plus, <laughs> come on now. Yeah, yeah, that's it, 18 plus. We stick by the rules, kids. And, of course, stick with us in... <laughs> well, please, no. Uh, Are you okay? With, with a parent, you can, can't you? And a meal. Um, but anyway, stick with us into next week as next Tuesday, of course, like every single Tuesday, 11 a.m. Uh, BST currently right now, basically UK time. We put it out midday CST, so Central European time and all that jazz where we have each and every episode. Last week, of course, we had Dirt Rally. This week, we've had a little bit of Mario Sunshine highlighted to yeah. us by Chewy himself. Next week, we're not quite sure what game we're going to play, but we're thinking we're all going to hop on and play one together. So you're going to want to tune in and watch that or tune in and listen to our topic conversation. But until next time, stay safe. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Was it Fania?